So I've been wanting to run this experiment for a while. Uh, can normal people tell the difference between high-end headphones? Naturally, I figured I would involve my family and burden them with this question because that seemed like the right thing to do. Uh, this is what they thought about these headphones. I told them nothing about them. It is their job to basically tell me what they think of each headphone and then give it a price tag. Entire families, I think, have probably broken up for less. Okay, so you know what we're doing today, right? Do you have any experience with hi-fi? No. We're reviewing uh, my take on several different headphones. I know nothing about headphones, so... You're not supposed to, it's okay. You might want to speak up a little bit. Okay. You're also backwards. <laughs> Here's the first headphone. What do you think? Uh, yeah, it looks like a decent build though. I'll try them on. You didn't want to do them backwards? I don't want to put them on backwards, no. No. Um, they seem like the um, the slide could wear out fairly soon. I mean, it, it's good right now. Um, the construction actually seems all right. It's the metal and the... Could maybe be a little more padding on, on the top of the um, headphone, but they feel pretty comfortable. They're heavy. They're heavy? They're heavy. They're actually not as comfortable as I thought they would be. My ears actually um, touch the, the insides at the top of my ear. These ones? Lighter. Those are also backwards. You're gonna have to use <laughs> They're a lot lighter. The fit is better on the top of the head. They don't feel as, uh, I guess, isolated as the other ones do. You hear more, like more sound, yeah. Like it's open, um, comfortable though, around the ears. They seem pretty well built. Um, they're not as comfortable as the other ones, but it looks like they would last well. I kind of like maybe just the design that I like, but they seem like, you know, more minimalistic, less points of failure on the construction. That one went over my ears better. So like, I felt like yeah. I was gonna hear it better. Okay. This one feels very big on my, on the side of my head. This one's backwards too. Yep, I yeah. saw the R. <laughs> Other way around, sorry. Yeah, I keep getting the two backwards. It seems to be the test because Sam got them all backwards too. <laughs> These seem like maybe the most well-built ones of the the three that I'm I'm looking at. Um, they're not too tight on your head, but they they fit comfortably on there. I like these. These are obviously uh, a little heavier. I can tell immediately. Not very comfortable. I just feel like the the surround doesn't doesn't really cushion around my ears like some like some of the others did. You also got some big ass ears though. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first song was very, like, um, the music, you could hear it very clear, very in, in the moment, like, mm -hmm. felt like you were there. So the Focals, um, I felt had pretty good clarity um, between all the songs I, I heard the, I felt like maybe it could have had a, a better bass range. It was clear what bass there, there was. It was nice, clear bass. I liked them. I thought the, um, you could hear the bass string, the vibration in the bass. It didn't, it didn't blur. It seemed pretty crisp. Um, and her voice, sometimes it's hard to tell for me on, on voices because everybody has a little bit different voice. But like the higher frequency, in the piano when there was a little place there where you could hear the piano, those seemed crisp and sharp. And I, I thought they were pretty good. I don't, you know, I liked them. Second song was kind of eh. Like it wasn't as pronounced. The actual music wasn't. The song itself, different, like different music beats to it sure. so the first one was more loud um but it, it sounded better it wasn't like because you heard at all the notes like you heard it all right. and i liked that one better with these headphones i felt like it had good mid 
mid sounds, uh, maybe not as much on the highs, but um, good mid and everything was pretty clear though. You just feel involved in it, like you're in it. Mm. It's just right there. So it's really clear, really crisp. Okay. Sounds a lot better than the radio. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> or TikTok videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess you could orchestral song you played um, sounded very, like you could be there in a theater listening to it. Um, it yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it was really, you know, it was, it was quite impressive, uh, especially for the, the string instruments and, and the, um, you know, the, the different um, orchestral instruments that, um, versus like a, a more of a techno song or, or hip hop song. Um, it was very clear as far as the, um, the orchestral sound goes. It was hard for me to tell sometimes on what was the music and what was the headphones. There were times when I thought the sound was blurring together, but then like the person's voice would come on and that was sharp and crisp. When I thought maybe, oh, the headphones aren't doing this very well. Then when we got to another song, it's like, oh, that part, they're doing that really well. Some of the others, because of how the music blended together, I had a hard time determining, you know, what was headphones and what wasn't. The first song did not sound as good with these headphones. The first set, I felt like I felt each of the beat, like the the thumping, I guess. Okay, yeah. Um, I felt it when I was, yeah. yeah. This one, it was more muted. These things are very, very, clear uh i was actually excited to to listen to a lot of the songs um the super like good clarity um i felt like it had a lot more response to all the notes that it hit and i felt like i heard more notes from every song um also the directional sound is far superior in these just how the music is it, it, the surround hits it from left to right you can really distinguish it first they're more comfortable i think they're not as heavy so they're a little more comfortable i don't know if i'm getting better at listening but i thought these did a little better job on um the higher frequencies maybe not quite as good on the bass um the first song we listened to that had a lot of that um string bass in there was was very sharp but this last song the phantom of the opera i thought the bass was a, should have been a little bit deeper rich fuller the first set it's more pronounced the first, like the first head yeah okay. the first headphone is more pronounced like you hear everything more okay this one with the second song being like a lower calmer song yeah you hear it more okay it's right. more it comes through louder, I guess. The bass was a little bit better in this as well, um, but overall, these are yeah, these were a pleasure to to lit, and they're super lightweight. Like I can barely, you know, I I don't really notice that I even have them on. I thought this did a little bit better job on separating some of that, some of those sounds, but it was still a lot of that was the music, the arrangement of the music. So I, I thought these overall were maybe a little bit better than, for me at least, than the, the first set I did. The first headset was more immersed. I felt like I was okay. more in it. This one does better with like the calmer songs that okay. don't have a lot of things going on in the music or the vocals. You did the Pirates of the Caribbean song. Mm -hmm. The first headset, I felt like I was in a movie theater, like watching it, you know, when you get that total surround. Yeah. This one, it's like, I'm just listening to it. I can tell okay. that I'm not so involved in it. As far as the clarity of the voices, I didn't, I don't know that I would say it was far greater than the, the previous ones, but um, it was just as good, if not better than the uh, than the Focals. Yeah, I, I was pretty impressed with these ones. Very comfortable too. So these headphones aren't as heavy as the first pair, but I feel like they, over my ears, are better than the second pair because it's not as big. 
Like, oh, okay. I mean, wearing them, they aren't the most comfortable, but they're not that bad on my ear. Like originally when I put them on, I'm like, yeah, they're not comfortable, but I feel like they've kind of, you know, formed to my head and, and they're not uncomfortable by any means. I thought this one had maybe a little bit better um, separations between sounds. I thought maybe they didn't blend quite as much as maybe the um, some of the other pair. But then other places, um, I couldn't I couldn't tell hardly any difference at all. Like the first song, I like them. Um, you know, I feel like I'm in it again. Sorry. I can hear the different beats. Um, the second um, song with this one, I feel like is not necessarily bad with like the first set of headphones with the second song, the Beyonce song. I didn't like the slower song with it, okay. the calmer song, but I liked the Beyonce song on the second headset. This one's kind of in between. With the Pirates song, this one is more mellowed. So I didn't feel like I was getting surround sound in a theater, like the first headset. It was, I had to play with the volume to like get that dramatic, you know, music tone that you're used to with that song. You know, as far as the sound goes, it, you could you could get some of this, you know, you got some surround sound. I didn't feel as immersed into the orchestral music though, um, as with the Hyphaman ones. Um, these just, they were, um, just not as impressive when you beat on a drum and it does that like after uh, like, like uh, yeah, yeah that's what that sounded like with the beats this time okay it sounded like there was more like it didn't just crisp end i don't think these are my favorite headset these were definitely i feel like i should have listened to these second because after listening to the last ones uh these just i kept listening for things that may be better, but I think everything about those were better. These, they just weren't quite as clear. So it was, um, you know, I just kept finding myself thinking, I want to switch back to the other ones, so. I think if I had to choose, I would probably choose these, the ones that I have on right now. I thought overall, they probably did better with all of the different sound some of them i thought did maybe a little bit better on the higher frequencies um some i thought the very first pair i did had had more bass had better bass but all of the sounds especially like when i was listening to the the big symphony orchestra um song and stuff i could i could pick out more of the individual instruments i think than i could with the other two. All right, so here's what we're doing now. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna guess the price of each of these. If you guess any one of them correctly, I'll give you a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Just like off of looks and weight, I'm gonna go with the second one was probably the least. I have a feeling, cause this always happens, but I have a feeling this one is probably the most because it's the one I like the least. It always happens that okay. way. Something I don't think is good is always like one of the top of the line. Okay. I'm backwards. And then the first pair, 2,500. The Focals, um, I, I am, Familiar with that brand from Car Audio, um, so I am a little, you know, uh, um, I, I do know a little bit about them. I would guess I know they're not uh, a low end brand by any means, so I'm gonna guess probably about 500 bucks on the Focals. And the first pair, I would say eight. I think the the second pair. I wore, I'll put that one around $1,500. What was it, Heifman you said for the second set? I wanna say like 700. The Heifman, um, you know, the as far as the build and everything goes, they don't look overly expensive, um, but they feel and sound amazing. Um, I mean, I'm gonna throw out a number of 1,200 bucks. So Abyss. Let's just put it 3,100. 
okay. we're guessing here. And then the Abyss look, even though I wasn't impressed with them, they look extremely well built and uh, complicated. Uh, very, you know, a, a high level of engineering probably went into those. Um, so I'm going to guess probably about mm, 2700 bucks for those. I'm going to choose the last pair I got as the upper end ones. And I'm going to, just because you gave me such a wide range, I have no idea what any of them cost. So I would... I would say 3500 for that one. You were super, super <laughs> close on that one. Was I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 3000 actually. Okay. So I'll give you 50 bucks for being <laughs> close. Um, the one you like the most is the cheapest. It's okay. usually about six or $700. Okay. Um, the second one is about 1600 almost always. That one is three grand. See, I told you. Okay. Uh, the Alexa 600. Heifman is sixteen hundred. Okay. And that one is three thousand. Okay. Sam won fifty bucks because she was a hundred bucks off of the, the oh. expensive one. <laughs> Would you say that any of these prices are worth it? It depends on how much of an audio file you are. I'm not that much of one. I mean, I'll, I'll go in my car and, and take long trips and I never turn the radio on at all. So I think it really depends on what you like personally. If you are into music and you like to hear the beat and you like to be involved, I think that's a great price for the, the first, first, first headset. The other two, I probably would never spend that much on headphones, Like, but yeah. I'm not somebody that loves music and really gets involved in it sure. so if i had the money yeah i'd spend six seven hundred dollars on that pair okay. if that was something that really meant something to me even my listening got better i think oh, yeah. from you know from headphone to headphone it's like mm -hmm. so yeah i mean if someone was was looking for a pair of headphones and had the um disposable earnings to get something more than you know most people can probably afford um the the high i would get the hyphen before i would get the abyss you know after hearing those it, the hyphenmen's they're they're far superior in my opinion but i'm not gonna say i would ever go out and spend 16 1700 bucks on you know a pair of headphones right, yeah, it's, it's pretty yeah pretty pricey. you know as far as comfort quality and everything i i think we're good um other than the fact that I want a pair of hyphenmins now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything you want to say? Nope, I'm good. Okay. <laughs>